hey guys what's up uh, this question is called the latest time to catch a bus uh, now this question is one of the question of the weekly contest today and uh, this question was not very properly uh, explained here uh, so what does this question state exactly so in the question we are given a uh, buses and a passengers array now buses has the departure time and passengers have the arrival time okay so as it's given you are given a zero index integer array buses whose length is n and uh, all the departure times are there and similarly we have another zero index array called passengers where the j like every passenger has its arrival time uh, both departure time as well as passenger times are unique okay and we are given an inter integer capacity so this capacity is given which is the maximum number of passengers that can get on a bus so let's say like we are we are having two as a capacity which means only this bus that departures at 10 minutes let's say so at only only two passengers can get on this bus okay uh, then it's written that the passengers will get on the next available bus uh, so okay let's say uh, there is one passenger here although it has the capacity of two only one passenger can get here because uh, only one passenger has arrived at two next passenger is at 17 so till that time this bus would have gone and we would have been left with this this bus so 17 and 18 could get on this bus right okay so what we have to do is that we also need to get on this bus right as in like you okay so you can get on a bus that will depart at x minutes if you arrive at y minutes where y is less equal to x and the bus is not full so we have to get on this bus and we have to get on this bus in that way that we don't have the same time as these uh, passengers which are already there like you cannot arrive at the same time as another passenger and we have to return a latest time so let if we take the example of this one you see like when the bus was at 10 the capacity 2 was filled but when the bus was at 20 we had 17 and 18 to be filled but you have to come so somewhere like 17 or 18 nearby this you have to be there so that you can enter the passenger uh, enter the bus now where exactly can you do uh, go so you have to come at 16th minute so that uh, you can enter this bus so it's it's slightly like complicated as in in terms of the wording of the question okay let we'll take another example here so 20 30 10 so the simplest way would be to sort this bus so that it becomes easy for us so 20 10 20 30 it would become and if we sort this passenger it will become uh, 4 11 13 19 21 25 26 something like this so this is our passengers and this is our buses right so what happens for this bus four is the only uh, passenger that can get into right because although it has a capacity of two but uh, there is no arrival before 10 so we can remove this 10 and we can remove this four now at 20 you have 11 and 13 right so we can remove these because capacity was two so two people got now for 30 not for 30 c uh, you have a capacity of two and you can take one person from here and you have to be the other person now to be the other person what you can do is you can either come at 18 or you can either come at 20 right because see on 19 was one one passenger and 21 was the another passenger so you have to get the latest time okay now here latest time means that you know you don't have to take this 18 you have to take this 20 so the list this term latest time is not very properly used here like you have to like, you have to understand and describe it properly as in it's not worded properly in the question but then when you try out with multiple examples you'll eventually understand like what exactly is the requirement so yeah with these two examples it's like a little clear as to what exactly is the uh, requirement so as we can see in this that sorting certainly made it easy so the first thing what we can do is that we'll just sort it okay so like buses is equal to sorted buses right 
and passengers equal to sorted passengers so now we will have a sorted list so it will be convenient for us so what we can do is uh, we can just iterate inside buses so okay so for i in buses we can uh, so we need a lot of variables here so to iterate in uh, passengers we'll keep a variable called j okay now while j is less than length of passengers so we are going to iterate inside the passengers list it's not that we are like using for and while so it's an n square kind of thing uh, that won't be possible because for 20 oh, oh sorry yes for 10 10 will after sorting this 10 will come up so for 10 we are looking this is also sorted so each one by one we are increasing so j is zero outside the for loop okay so for i in buses one by one let's let's try to uh, do one thing uh, we'll we'll just add this like this 10 20 30 and passengers is shouldn't have removed it now if you left it okay 4 11 13 19 21 25 and so on doesn't matter okay so for 10 what we have to do we have to just uh, okay so we have to see what all elements are lesser than 10 and it should not exceed capa capacity so uh, we'll we'll just keep counting so we'll use a variable like count equal to capacity and we'll keep on decreasing this okay so like and count must be greater than zero and uh, j should increase and count should decrease right uh, okay and uh, the, the other factor should be that uh, the passengers of j which means these elements the these elements inside passenger these must be lesser or equal to buses of okay just i not buses of i because we are doing for i in buses so less than equal to i right so there are three conditions here firstly uh, that each of these must be less than buses it, sh it should not exceed the capacity and j must not be greater than the length of passengers or equal to the length of passengers right so we are decreasing these so what happens when uh, we try to traverse this so firstly for this i j will come here right and when j reaches here uh, now that this is not uh, uh, like this is not less than or equal to buses of i so we will come out of this while loop and i will come till to here okay so now our i is here sorry uh, control z and yeah so dub my uh, brackets are here so i is here j when will will be slow lesser than this j will be lesser than this but now we have exceeded the capacity like count has become zero so we'll again come out of the loop for this 30 19 and then 21 so 21 is where our j will be there now our j has reached till 25 so 25 is the element where uh, so j would have increased till 25 and then 25 now we have exceeded the capacity so our j is here so we just want one before that because till here we have to reach so what we can do is we'll take a variable called let's say b and we will just add passengers of j minus 1 here right so j minus 1 essentially means that till 21 so we reached an additional uh, j so we will just come back to the previous one as in the last till last now there are two things that can come up okay uh, if the count has not exceeded zero as in still there is more capacity left right like there there can be more elements added so in that case what we can simply do is that if cat uh, if this count is greater than zero or like not equal to zero whatever uh, we can simply do this b is equal to buses of minus one which means that this 30 right because we have the capacity so irrespective of like uh, anything we can directly take this element 
Now we can later on check that okay maybe that there is a unique element that already exists with the same. So to check that what we can do is that we'll use a set here. Okay. So passengers we'll take a variable called p and we will just add these as a set. The reason why we are adding these as a set so that we can have a lookup of big O of one instead of searching in a dictionary, uh, searching in a list, we are searching in a set. So instead of O of n, we are doing it in O of one. Okay. So for, uh, sorry, not for. So, so either your B will be this or your B will be this right now. What we'll do is that we will just look in this like whether B is in P. So if it is already there, so what we can do is we'll decrease B by one and eventually we'll return b right so what happens we were at 21 this condition won't be fulfilled here because cat uh, the capacity is already become zero so we have added this as a set and while b is in p so yeah 21 is in already in uh, this list or this set so we'll decrease b by 1 which means we are now we have now reached to 20 and we can return this b so if you try out with this also, this would work and yeah, I think this could, this would solve this problem. So yeah, this is how you can solve this problem.